Alhamdulillah, fa'uzulillah min shaitan rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir raheem, atiyullah atiyya rasulu ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajeezu, da'eefu, miskeenu, zalimu, jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah Allah gave us a life in which to see the immense blessings of Arba'een and to have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and Ahlul Bayt and Nabi and Ashab and Nabi within our hearts. And the guidance of Allah when He wants to guide, He guides towards these realities so that we can achieve these immense lights and immense blessings. That the immensity of Imam al Hussein is not something that can be understood. That when Allah was going to bring creation into existence and we described, Ya Hamid Abu Haqqa Muhammad that Prophet is the hamd and is the, the light in which Allah is going to bring all creation from that immense ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah and from the, the nuqt and the reality of Imam al-Ali, Ya Aliyun bi haqqa Ali, Allah brings a, a qudra and a power from the secret of Al-Khaliq and the reality in which he dressed the light of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazali Salam and the secret of the womb and the secret of bringing creation into existence. From that light that enters into the secret of that womb then a creation is brought and that's under Sifat ar-Rahman and the creation of mulk. And that reality of mulk and the reality of the physical manifestation is under the light of Nur al-Imam al-Hasan salam, The Sifat ar-Rahman and Allah al arsh istawa that my attribute of ar-Rahman is the authority, arsh istawa it sits upon the seat of authority. And from the heart of awliyaullah and from the heart of Imam al Hussein salam begins to describe that that Sifat ar-Rahman is a secret that Allah gave to the soul of Imam al Hasan salam. And that for that nur to appear and the wor- world of manifestation, when we say the mulk and malakut, this world and everything we see manifesting has to do with the secret and the light of an Imam al Hasan salam that Allah gave of that light. That's why Qurat al Ain from Insana Kamil and the perfected reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that these eyes of Prophet not the physical but the spiritual representation of, a, of an immense light that can see all of existence. And Ayatul Kursi is describing that the reality of Prophet said, never sleep nor slumber overtaketh him. In the Sultanate of… in the reality of the light of Sayyidina Muhammad that light that Allah makes to be vigilant over creation. That not a moment that light and the soul sleeps. And Allah made the light to be vigilant from that reality of firasan for the reality of the lights that coming out from the holy eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah gave to it a rahman that one of the eyes with the power of Sifat ar-Rahman brings everything is manifesting by that Sifat ar-Rahman that manifests from the lights and from the eye of Sayyidina Muhammad That that Sifat ar-Rahman that makes a, a nur because at the end of Rahman has a noon. That noon is for the nur of manifestation. When Allah wants it to manifest that right eye of Prophet and that He dressed the reality in the soul of Imam al-Hasan 
السلام, it begins to make a light of manifestation beyond comprehension, beyond what people in their mind can even understand that what do you mean say, I have no idea. This is how Allah began the reality of marifah that every from an ocean of reality and not just an ocean where it's just a pond and it came. So the marifah Allah began to describe that I took this reality of Prophet I dressed that eye of Prophet with my name of Rahman, with the mercy and compassion. And as a result I dressed from his wujud, from his reality, his beloved grandson Imam al-Hasan And with that dress of a Rahman everything is manifesting through that light that Allah gave. And all that light is in the eye of in the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad Then imagine when we ask for unzur halana wa ishfalana is that to gaze upon us, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem with what type of immensity, with what type of unimaginable reality that that eye when it gazes with us it dresses us from the eternal attribute of Allah Rahman and give us a, a compassion and a mercy, gives us the secret of our existence. And when that light and that eye gazes, it gazes with the light and the nur of Imam and Hassan salam. And the immensity of that light and that, that blessing that dresses us. So then imagine loving them, imagine respecting and loving, showing an ihtiram for the blessed souls and the reality of what Allah has given to their reality, what type of dress Allah gives to us. And that's why their tafsir of realities, Ya Rabbi atina fi dunya hasana wa akhirat al hasanat wa kin adhab nar is that, Ya Rabbi grant me hasanat in this dunya, grant me the hasanat of akhirah means grant me from the light of Imam al-Hasan salam. Grant me to be in the company of the Ashraf and Sadat of Sayyidina Muhammad to eat with them, to drink with them, to pray with them, to cry with them, to, to make nasheeds and salawat with them so that I, I attained from Ayatul Kareem of Holy Qur'an, Atina Ya Rabbi that grant me, grant me this hasanat and what could be the best hasanat? Not money, not possessions, but grant me from the light of Imam and Hassan salam to be under that light, to be under that blessing so that the reality of your Sifat al-Rahman open within my physical manifested life. So that can't be understood the immensity of that light, that can't be understood the immensity of what Allah when He begin to open His realities and open His names and attributes upon the servant. That's, that's the immensity of these blessings, these associations and these loves because we're getting close now to the Mawlid the Nabi We can't imagine the immensity of the light of Prophet that when Allah by, by means that Allah is sending by a means all these blessings and lights towards creation. So then now we, we move towards the reality of Ya Rahim Bahaka Imam al Husayn. So Ya Rahim and Sifat al Rahim is for the malakut and the world of light. Sifat al Rahim is the compassion and the mercy for the hereafter, that we need that immense mercy. It's a different mercy than the mercy of Rahman. Sayyidat al-Rahim is a power source that powers Rahman. It's the nucleus and the essence of Sifat al-Rahman. Sifat al-Rahim is the power of Malakut and the world of light that we need a salam, we need a power, we need a mercy in which to traverse our physical life and return back to the hereafter. That Ya Rabbi mercy us, not only You gave us a mercy in our life 
You took away many difficulties in our life, You granted us the guidance of, of this love. But Ya Rabbi grant us a special mercy so that we pass through the gates of difficulty. That we pass the fire of difficulty that every soul has to pass that leaves this world to go to the hereafter. They have to go through a firewall, they have to go through a cleansing, they have to go through an accounting and of which is immensely difficult. And Allah made for us Sifat al-Rahim that you need my mercy and my compassion of an extraordinary amount that save you from the fires of trials and tribulations of the hereafter and passing through Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Means with that reality, Ya Rahim bi haqq al-Imam al Hussein as salam Allah dressed the light of Sayyidina Muhammad left eye. From Ar Rahman comes the light that manifests, and from Sifat al Rahim, because it has the Hay in it, it has the ocean of Hayat in it. From that left eye of Sayyidina Muhammad he brings everything to life. With the power of Allah give to the secret of Sifat al Rahim unto the eye of Sayyidina Muhammad that with that left eye it brings Hayat al barzaka Hayat al dunya brings everything to life. Everything that dies Allah will resurrect into the hereafter. That Bahr al Hayat is an ocean of eternity, it's not the Hayat of a temporary life. This Bahr al Hayat and this ocean of Al Hay that coming out from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad's eye is a light that grants all of eternity. To be dressed and to drink from this fountain of Hayat, this is the secret of Surat al Kahf. That this is the reason that Allah is giving the example of the servants of Al Hayat. That Sayyidina Khidr represents the servants of Al Hayat who drank from this fountain of not youth but the fountain of eternity. And that Nabi Musa salam wanted that fountain of real eternity. He wanted and he knew that that was the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and he wanted to drink from that. So it means that this month of Hayat, the 18 of Hayat entering into this cave, this is the cave of Al Hayat, this is the heart of these two magnificent eyes of reality. It's not something small to be entering into that. They're describing all these teachings for us to understand exactly who are we dealing with, where is it that we're trying to go to the immensity of the Sultan of all creation that Allah gave from that eye the ocean of Al Hayat. And Allah gave Sayyidina Muhammad the reality of Imam Al Hussein that I give you a grandchild because it's all been pre-written, it didn't happen on earth. I'm going to give to you from your eye, your light of your left eye from the ocean of Hayat, I'm going to make for you a grandchild. Because these names were given to Prophet when these children were born. This dunya is not where things happen, oh you're going to fight, you're going to be a warrior, you're going to be this. It's been written by Allah Allah said, I'm going to give you a grandson from the ocean of Al Hayat, what I made him with you can't imagine. But he will represent my Sifat of Rahim. Sifat of Rahim that is the source and the power for everything in the mulk. It gives a power to Rahman, it gives the power for Rahman to manifest its realities, the immensity of that power and from that light I'm going to make your Husayn. And from that light he is going to manifest that reality on earth and he represented the immensity of the fountain of youth. That the, the, the saints of youth, the fountains of youth, the imag unimaginable immensity of paradise. People have an incorrect understanding of paradise as if it's something free. And Allah says, no this is the most expensive 
thing that you could ever imagine on life. Many men have come and died and, and gave everything to reach it. Don't think you're going there free and it's something cheap. Cheap is your dunya. What people have paid and what whom have loved me, what they gave of difficulty, what they sacrificed of, of their lives can't be understood. And Imam al Husayn comes to show that because he represents the Sifat of Rahim. He represents the, the sifat of the eternal life that I will, I will manifest my reality and I, you'll know that only by my death that I enter the field of fate. And in that field of fate with women, children, companions we entered in and 72 people slaughtered into fields. Whatever the fate and the destiny that was wounded by Allah He completed that reality. And as a sign, was a complete sign of real hayat, was the sign of what it is to be martyred in the way of Allah what it is to be really alive in the way of Allah The whole of tariqah is mawt qabl al mawt, that oh we slowly die from our desires, we slowly die from all of our passions so that we can come alive in the hereafter and the imam of that reality say, no I actually slaughtered in the way of that reality. He represents salam the immensity of that ocean, the immensity of that reality and that perfection of that reality and as a result Sayyid al-Shuhada that if there's a martyr he is the master of all martyrs, the imam of all martyrdom, the imam of all muqam al-shuhud. Anyone whom Allah accepts their martyrdom, anyone whom Allah accepts their spiritual martyrdom in which they, they die from their desires slowly and they perfect themselves. When Allah want to grant them to be from Ahlul Basira and their hearts to be opened, Imam al Husayn is salam must come to sign that certificate. That he authenticates that Allah has certified that that student, that servant Allah will open that reality. Means that that signature and that authority is the immensity of the spiritual realm. So means that on this sifat of Rahim we're asking to be dressed on these nights, we're asking from Arba'een. Ya Rabbi grant us from this Sifat of Raheem, grant us for the sake of the love that we have for Imam al Husayn and the sacrifice that he made salam, that he dress us from these blessings, grant us from these blessings, grant us salamun qawlun min Rabbil Raheem. Surat al Yaseen is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and the heart of Surat al Yaseen is the Ayatul Kareem, Salamun Qawlum Mi Rabbil Raheem, a word of salams and peace from the Lord who controls Sifat al Raheem. And from that reality of Imam al Husayn, who is the reality and the secret of Sifat al Raheem, Salamun Qawlum Mi Rabbil Raheem is an immense secret. And how could you possibly achieve that? If you didn't cry for them, you didn't love for them, you didn't bring water and food for them, you didn't propagate this way of love and compassion that, remember my Husayn salam, remember Shuhadaya Karbala salam, remember them that the, their sacrifice was not in vain, their way is not something that we didn't acknowledge, we acknowledge with all our being. And that's why Mawlana Shaykh Nazim said that you must cry a tear for them. Why? Because that tear is your intercession to gain his nazar salam. The one whom is salamun qawlun min Rabbil Raheem, the one whom is, is carrying the reality, Ya Raheem bi haqqal Imam al Husayn, that we want his holy nazar that complete these favours upon me, grant me from this sifat that Allah be happy with me, grant me as salams in which if that salam comes, Allah and Prophet describes 
then everything will make salams to you. If Allah is satisfied with you, Prophet satisfied with you and you can gain the salams of Imam al Husayn salam to be satisfied with you, your love and your approach, then Allah make all the malaika to continuously give you salams and praises so that to raise your darajat, raise your station, to take difficulties away and hardships away. We pray that Allah grant us salamu qawlu bi Rabbil Raheem and that we be under the intercession of Imam al Hasan, under the intercession of Sifat al Rahman, under the intercession of, of Imam al Husayn salam, under the intercession of Sifat al Raheem and then under the nazar of Qurat al Ain, Jad al Hasani wal Husayn, Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al Mustafa, Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati amma yasifoon wa salamun al Mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Muhammad Mustafa, Abu Sayyid Sulaiman.